so exciting. We're going to the very first London to Paris air race. Planes from all over the world will be participating. I hope Cousin Gaston remembers we're coming. I wonder how we'll know where to meet him. Emily! Alexander! Come on up! Let's go, Alexander! Flight, Gaston. Come, there is someone I want you to meet. This is Carol. And Carol, this is Emily and Alexander. Hello, nice to meet you. Carol is a great mechanic. She helped her father build this magnificent flying machine. Gaston, I'm having a little trouble with the engine. Being a mouse does come in handy. Well, let me see. Yes, I see the problem. Right this way, Reginald. Carol, this is Reginald Wimpley. He'll be flying our plane for the big race. But I thought you were flying our plane, Dad. Yes, I know. But our chances are much better with an expert pilot. Gaston! Gaston! Finished! You certainly will be finished if you don't get out of there right this minute! <laughs> I am the world's greatest pilot. The race is as good as one. But first, a test flight. <gasps> My plane! Who's that, Gaston? 
That's the dreaded Fentley Burbick, the meanest rat aviator to ever crawl into a cockpit. Hmm, I'm sure I've seen that rat somewhere before. What are you oh. staring at? Haven't you ever seen a magnificent rat and his flying machine before? Well, to be quite honest, I never have, but you look awfully familiar. Have we met? Impossible. Uh, my name is Bentley Fur... I mean, Fentley Burbick, and I'm not from these parts. Neither am I, Mr. Furbick. I mean, Burbick. My cousin Alexander and I came here from America to watch our cousin Gaston... Did I ask where you were from? I don't think so. Come on, Emily. Don't waste your breath making conversation with this rude rat. <laughs> I'm gonna win this race no matter what it takes. And I'm gonna see to it that your cousin's plane never finishes. Why else do they call me? No tail, no good nick. Well, besides that... It's time for everyone to take a test flight! Emily, would you like to go on a little test run? I'd love to! Where's Alexander? <sighs> mm. Sunflower seeds. <laughs> Delicious roasted. Mm. Served with a bit of sparkling apple juice. We must start. Uh, we will come back for Alexander. Where did everybody go? <gasps> Rat 
has a fake tail. You're right. And I only know one tailless rat. No tail, no good, Nick. The sneakiest rat in the world. And there's one mouse he hates more than any other mouse in the world. You! Me? Let's go! So many flying machines and so little time. Well, I might as well start with this one. Hold it! What are you doing here? I uh, was about to fix my plane. That's your plane. My goodness, you're right. My eyesight must be going. I suppose it's time I got a monocle for the other eye. I'll go look into that right away. Not so fast. No tail. Jeez Louise, I've been found out. Ouch! How'd she recognize me through my brilliant disguise? Oh, what's this? Jeez, what luck. Hello, no tail. And... Goodbye, No Tail! You no good country mouse and city mouse! I'll get you for this! You haven't seen the last of No Tail! No good, Nick! Bon voyage, No Tail! I love flying. Now I know exactly how the birds feel. What was that? Just loosen these bolts here. This ought to keep Lewis's flying contraption from going anywhere tomorrow. Oh, no! We have to warn Carol before someone tries to fly her plane. <laughs> we have to get out of here and warn Carol. But, uh, we're stuck. There, there, kitty. Don't worry. This time tomorrow, we'll be in the winner's circle. Everything's ready for the race. Where's Reginald? Here comes your pilot now, Dad. Uh, Lewis, we have to talk. Change your plans, pal. Reginald's flying with me today. It was a business decision. Drat! That's it! We have to withdraw from the race. But, Dad, why don't you fly instead? Me? No. That's impossible. I'm no match for Reginald Wimpley's flying skills. Maybe you're not, but together we are. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Emily? Alexander! Emily, it is me. Where are you? We're inside the bucket. But what are you doing in there? It's a long story. Get us out, Gaston. Ah, very well. Do not move. I will be back. Something wrong, old sport? That's the biggest darn mosquito I've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, the race is about to begin! Gaston, we saw J.W. Howinger sabotage Carol's plane. If we don't get to her in time, they'll crash. Carol and her father are in danger? Oh no, we are too late. The race is starting.
reach Paris and win the race and the cheese. Forget the cheese, Gaston. We have to save Carol. Of course. How could I forget? <laughs> Cheese. 